Can a Mac computer power a set of 250 ohm headphones? In this video, we're going to answer that question, show you how it works, and then show you how in the real world, we set the volume for various things while using a set of 250 ohm headphones, whether or not we're listening to music, editing video, or live monitoring a talking head video like this one. In this video today, we're using the Bayer Dynamic DT990 Pro 250 ohm headphones. These are open back headphones. These are extremely popular. I'm sure a lot of people coming to the video are trying to figure out exactly if these are the headphones that work with a MacBook. If you are looking for pricing or specs for anything that you see in this video, we do have links down in the description below. So first of all, right off the bat, yes, the new Macs do power a set of 250 ohm headphones. How this works is inside the MacBook, it can detect whether or not your headphones have an impedance of 150 ohms or less, in which case it will give 1.25 volts to the headphone output of the computer. If it detects that your headphones are 150 ohms or more, then it will crank that up more than doubling it to 3 volts on the headphone app on the output. From Apple themselves, they do say that you don't need any type of external audio amplifier for a set of 250 ohm headphones. Now, which computers does this apply to? They started to bring this technology in around 2021. If you have a 2021 MacBook Pro, this technology is inside it. If you have a Mac Studio or a Mac Air, that came in 2022. And if you're using a Mac Mini, that came in 2023. So depending on where you are on that scale, we do have links down in the description below if you do want to read a full blog post on this. That's how you'll know if your computer is in this category or not, where it will detect high impedance headphones and double or more than double the voltage output of the headphone jack to properly power this. Okay, that sounds well and good, but in practical use, how do I use this with my computer? If I'm listening to finished music on Apple Music or Spotify, generally to get a full immersive sound in these headphones, I'm setting my volume output to about 45%. That gives me a really good listening experience and I have a ton of headroom if I am listening to a favorite song of mine or if I just want to turn it up just to blow my ears out. Next, if I'm editing video or editing audio, which I do all the time on my laptop, I set it to about 60%. I'm generally working with unfinished video, mostly dialogue, and by turning the headphone output up to 60%, that gives me a good amount of detail in these headphones. And like I said before, I still have lots of headroom there, and I haven't noticed any hiss or static or anything like that from the headphone preamp of this MacBook Pro. Now, lastly, if you are doing live vocal monitoring, which I am sometimes doing that connected directly to a laptop, if I'm on a Zoom meeting or something like that, or just ex experimenting and testing, then I do turn it up to about 75%. So I still have about 25% headroom. So for all three use cases there, there's tons of headroom. I don't hear any noise or static coming out of the headphone app on this device. And I can say that a set of 250 ohm headphones are a good fit to be plugged directly into any of the new Macs that we listed earlier in this video without needing an external headphone app or anything like that. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions on this, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.